Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale and I have a little bit of a different video today. I'm gonna to be taking you with me on my short little trip to the next town over for an online auction pickup. So this is um, online. It's an auction that I won a couple things from two nights ago. Um, and so I'm gonna go pick it up now. And so I won some jewelry, I won some clothing you know, not much, just a couple pieces. Um, I think it was like a vintage denim jacket and a vintage Victoria's Secret, like nighty and robe and um, like a pair of coach sneakers and then the rest is jewelry. So um, I'm already in my car, as you can see. So I will um, get going and then turn the camera back on when we get close. All right, so let's go. Okay, so we are about two miles away. Um, the auction pickup is at a private residence and it was only about seven miles from my house. Look at the, look at the sky. Ooh, baby. Okay, um, so I still don't have a little stand for my phone in here, but I ordered one, so don't worry. I will be completely safe soon. <laughs> okay, so um, let's just see where this place is. Hopefully my navigation will still work, even though I have my um, video playing, so we will hope for that. So if you hear her come on, I am very sorry. It might be kind of loud. Um, and let's see what it's like. I may have been to this auction pickup before, but we shall see. So it's a lot of farmland where I live now, which is awesome because that means there's less neighbors to have to worry about and more animals and I like that. All right, so let's see. All right, oh, and by the way, let me throw this out there that today is Sunday, um, I will be posting this video later in the week. So when I said I won these items two days ago, that was Friday night um, and today is Sunday, but I'm pretty sure you won't be seeing this video until Tuesday. All right, I'm gonna stop the video just for a quick second to make sure my navigation's still working. And I will be okay. So we are about to come into the very pretty and cute town of Millerton. La, 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 la. At the light, turn right onto Main Street. Okay, so it does, it is working even though I'm videoing, so that's always good. I think from now on I, I'll start putting the navigation into my actual car so that, you know, we can multitask. So we're about to turn onto Main Street of the very cute town. In one mile, the destination is on your left, 211 US 44. There's Harney and Sons right there. We have a little diner. All these cute little shops. Very tight here. Super tight. Little, all these cute little shops. A lot of coffee, cafes, restaurants. You have the Millerton Inn right there, which is gorgeous. Can't really see. There we go. Gorgeous. Um, they have a restaurant in there and it is fabulous. I've been there a couple times. Building is just beautiful inside. Oops, sorry. My uh, phone is connected to the charger, so when I went to shift, I pulled the cord a little bit. Okay, so I think I have been to this location before, and it's kind of a, a kind of a kind of a bad spot to pull over. So um, let me put you guys down, and I'll be right back. Here. So I'm gonna do my best to film as much as I can, but I don't wanna be weird, so.
Um, I think it's like 13 lots or so, mostly jewelry. Um, okay. A couple articles of clothing. Okay. Del Benny is the last name. Oh, perfect. Yes. So, see here the shoes. I don't know if you want to go through all of the jewelry. Is in there? The Not only really, thing but... is the chain link. If you want to take that out, and maybe wrap that in something else. Okay. I live right. I live right down the street. So oh, okay. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should be good. Yeah, and then you got the three things of clothes and the yep. earrings and all the jewelry. Perfect. Perfect. And then just have these so much of that page. Okay. And that's it. Thank you. I wish just I got them done for Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't. I love them, but I just can't. Right? Yeah. It, it's hard, especially with the stiletto, because like I think, yep, and I poke holes in my clothes. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Take care. <laughs> you too. Okay, guys. Here's the goods. <laughs> I always get comments on my nails, but that's okay. Okay, so let's go. And um, I'll see if I can show you guys a little bit of what I got. Super quick. Let me put this here on the car. And open up the doors. Okay. All right, so here are the shoes. That's the ghetto jacket. That's the Victoria's Secret set. And this is all the jewelry. that okay guys we are going to go back home I am going to go pick up Dallas and I'm gonna go to my parents house so um let me see if I can flip you guys. Nope, I can't. Okay, so um, let me do it. Let me turn Okay, around. guys, that was just a little trip. Um, short video. Uh, when I get home later, I will show you guys everything that I got. Um, I may keep some things for future live auctions on my channel. Um, so I'm just throwing that out there that not everything will be for sale um, that I picked up in this video. But um, I will be selling most of it. So I figured this would be a fun little different video and show you guys kind of what I do when I'm not, what I do on the weekends. There we go. What I do on the weekends, a little uh, running around, picking up things, sourcing um, inventory. So, all right. So we'll see you guys a little later and we'll go through everything together. Okay. Bye. Okay, you guys, I'm back home. It's a little later in the day, but I have the box of my auction winnings and we are going to go through them together. So um, I will be selling them in the video. So if you see anything that you like, you can email me at another chance resale one at gmail.com and just give me a timestamp and a brief description of what you're interested in. And I will have a sold list um, down in the comments section if anything does sell from the video. Okay. So first up, I won these Coach sneakers. Um, I do not think they need laces, be, be, <clears throat> excuse me, because they are stretchy. They do need a good cleaning, but um, either magic eraser or Tubbo Towels wipes will get the white awesome. Uh, these are a size, I think they were an eight, oh, six and a half, sorry, that's way off, six and a half, um, they are, there is a little bit of wear right there, um, a little bit, um, that's on the inside right there. Um, but other than that, they look okay. Like I said, they just need to be cleaned up, which is no big deal. I can do that for you. And this one looks good. Um, so let's do, um, let's do 20 bucks on these. Okay. And, um, okay. Next up, we're going to do the jean jacket. So this I'm going to put over here for now 
So this is by Eddie Bauer. It's a size medium. And it's actually really cute. Um, it does have some, you know, yellowing, but I think that's kind of like, kind of vintagey looking. This is actually really cute. So it has, let me get a hanger because that's going to look better. Okay. Yeah, this is cute. This is definitely a nice um, vintage. I love the little lines here. We have all the buttons, buttons on the pockets. Yes, there's pockets here. Super cute. Um, there is, it's 100% cotton, so it does not, it's not going to stretch. And let's see, I might, I might wash this for you guys because it's, it kind of, kind of smells like a dungy basement. So let's get some measurements. The length is 21 inches. And let's button this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able, I'm not gonna be able to button that right now, but let's just do the armpit to armpit. I would say it's about 19 inches. So yeah, that's like um, a little bit on the bigger end of a medium um, because usually around 20 inches is a large. So uh, 19 inches armpit to armpit. Super cute. I will wash this for you guys. Um, let's do 20 bucks also. All right, next up, we have the Victoria's Secret set. Ooh la la. So this is the little nighty. Let's get that hanger. And this is, okay, the, the um, tag is ripped out of this, but I think there's a tag in the robe. Look how cute. So it goes probably, um, it goes right in between the knee and the thigh, like the top of the leg and the knee, right in the middle. It's actually in really good condition. It's pink and the robe. Let's see if I can find the tag. Here it is. So Victoria's Secret. And okay, so it's one size and it's polyester. So let's put this on over the robe. I mean, over the nighty. <clears throat> I'll probably wash this one too because I can smell the dunginess. There's a little stain right there, but I'll see if I can get that out. If not, please be aware of that. It's on the back of the sleeve. Um, but it looks good otherwise. It's probably like a, a three-quarter sleeve, and it's, a, it's the same size as the nighty. Same length. Um, oh, yeah, there's a bunch of stains. I'm going to have to wash this and let you guys know stain treat it so this might have to be brought back in another video so i can see if this will um come out but if anybody's interested in it you can email me anyway um but i'm gonna wash it and i'll let you guys know maybe in friday's purse sale video or something i'll show it okay so let's do the jewelry. Yay, that's probably what you're all here for. Okay, so let's see. All right, the first piece I'll show you guys, but this is actually gonna go to a friend of mine. Um, she wanted me to bid on it for her, so I did. So it's going to be sent to her. This is a cuff. How cool is that? I mean, it's 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 big on me, so I don't feel comfortable like really wearing it. But isn't that awesome? 
So it is, I don't even, I don't think this is metal. It might be like some type of um, plaster. Painted. Or, I mean, it could be metal. I don't know. It doesn't really feel, it's not heavy enough to be metal. It's not magnetic. These feel like um, plastic and there are a few rhinestones missing and this is also plastic. Okay, um, so, but this is really cool. She wanted it, so she got it. Super cool cuff, um, not sure of the material. <laughs> All right, so let's look in this first bag. La, la, la. Okay, there's a few things in here. This is probably one lot. So let me make sure, because I have my invoice up on the computer behind me, so I can make sure I have everything, which I should have checked while I was there, but you guys heard me. I didn't want to look through all of this. Okay, so here's one thing. Okay, so we have, these are brooches. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Ooh -wee. It's a little bent. Let me just fix that. So it is blue and clear rhinestones. It needs to be cleaned. They feel like they could be glass. Definitely vintage. Okay. Um, I would do this one for $8. Okay. I'll clean that up. This is a brooch pendant. Let me see if I can get another light on. I have them behind me. They should be in front of me. I do apologize. But this one is silver tone with the rhinestones. It's a little flower. Brooch and pendant. Excellent, excellent condition. We'll do that one for $5. This one is Monet. It's a silver tone flower, almost looks like a five leaf clover. <laughs> Again, excellent condition. I think it looks better if I don't go so close. So we'll do, we'll do $6 on that one. Okay, so that's one little lot. Let's look at something else. Okay, so this was a little Damascene lot, only two pieces. Let's find that on my thing here. Okay, yep, got it. So these are Spain, made in Spain. This one is a little Damascene pair of scissors. It does say Spain on the back. I'm doing this video on my phone, so I do apologize if it's the quality is a little different. Um, so let's do $5 on the Damascene scissors. And then we have a Damascene boat. And it is marked Spain. There. And let's do $8 on that one. This is another little lot of two brooches. We have a little turtle, which is a brooch and pendant. It's actually quite big next to my hand. It is silver tone with the green rhinestones and then he's got red eyes. This is really, 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 really pretty. I don't see any markings. It is a pendant as well. If I, I think I said that already. All of the rhinestones are there. Yeah. So let's do 10 on this guy. <clears throat> then we have a peacock brooch or maybe a bird of paradise. Gold tone with purple enamel and red and purple rhinestones and then a red rhinestone right there. No maker marks on this. And let's do this guy for $5.
All right, next up, we have a um, cufflink. Now, did these say that they were, these might be, yeah, these, I think are, these are sterling. They said that they're just alpaca, but I think with the abalone, I think these might be sterling. Let's do a quick test. La 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 la, testing, testing. Oh yeah, they're sterling. Okay, so these guys are sterling. They are cufflinks with abalone down the, down the middle. Um, it does look like that they might be um, Taxco. So if you look, oh boy, it's probably not gonna work. Let's see if I can do this. See, I think that's the ta Tasco circle at the bottom there with the initials and the um, code. Let me get something to clean this. So those are sterling. Um, if anyone's interested, they do need a good polishing, but I would do um, $15 on those. Even if you were to remove the cufflink part and make these into earrings, that'd be awesome. Okay, then we have a little butterfly. See, this is the same thing. They said it's alpaca. I bet you this is sterling too. Sterling and abalone. Because, check out the mark. Where am I? It says Mexico, but it has that same kind of circular mark that Taxco does. Oh yeah, 100% sterling. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this without me spilling it. Just move the camera, Kristen, duh. Sterling, sterling, we got sterling. And they just had it marked as alpaca. So that's awesome because alpaca is not real sterling. It's like a mixture of metals. So we have a sterling Mexico silver with the abalone butterfly. And let's do 20 on him. He's cool. Cool, cool. Okay, let's keep going. Because we got a lot. A lot more. All right, so this, this they said, sterling question mark. And I think this is lapis. Let me see if I can put it on here. It does have the gold flex in it. That's really pretty, you guys. Um, there's no markings. Oh, wait, there is. Where's my loop? I don't know what that says. Definitely says something on the clasp on the loop. I'm pretty sure that's a 925. So let's check it out. Because if so, this is a lot of silver here. I'll do the pendants and the chain. And then I'm going to need something else to clean this off with. So I'm going to have to get up again. Sorry. Oh, yeah. That's all sterling. Yes. This is great, you guys. Check that out. See all that blue? So all that is sterling. I think I got you guys crooked now um let me get my wipes so 
so that's awesome. That is a pricey, that's going to be a pricey necklace, you guys. Because this is all lapis and sterling, and this is a heavy necklace. These stones are huge. I mean, look at them next to my nails. Or even my ring, huge. Um, I... I do want to bring this to auction, but I think I will offer it to you guys here. I think I'll do that for you. So let's measure it. It is 22 inches total, 22 inches total. And it just has like a hook closure clasp. Um, Let's do, I'll do a good deal. What? Did, let me see what I paid. Okay. Um, I'll do a good deal for you guys. Um, I'll offer it to you guys for 45. Okay. Otherwise it's going to go to auction. Hi Dallas. All right. These are guest stud earrings. Okay. Guest they look like um, like little discs with the rhinestones. They are post back. Silver tone, they're in really good condition. The backs look a little dirty, so I'll just replace those backs for you guys if anybody wants to buy these. Um, I would say they're almost the size of a nickel, maybe a little bit smaller. I will do $8 on those. I did get um, Avon, new in the box. Well, at least I think. It says tailored buckle ring, medium. So let's see. How cute. So the box is like super old and like kind of grody, but the ring is gorgeous. It is silver tone and it is a buckle. And it, it I think, I'm pretty sure it's brand new. And it is marked Avon on the inside and it does have those little adjusters. So, comfortably it sits at a five, but it can go all the way to a seven. So it's with the box. Let's do $12. Then we have this one. This one says Avon initial ring. Okay. It's a G. Let me wear it this way so you guys can see. It's gold tone. Okay, I know it's a little hard to see, I'm sorry. And it is marked Avon. And I think this is gonna be a six. Yeah, it's a six. And I will do 12 on this one as well. All right, all right, let's see what's next. We have another brooch lot. Let's see where we are on the invoice. Okay, so let's see, this one is a brooch and pendant vintage gold tone with clear and um, like amber colored stones. It's in good condition, but it might just need to be cleaned a little bit. Um, so let's do five bucks on that one. We have this one, which are leaves. Well, I guess it's a flower. Like um, am, uh, autumn color enamel, 
there is a nick out of the pearl in the center and this has a trombone clasp so that's kind of cool but because of the nick in the center you can't even really oh there it is um i'll do this one for only two dollars then we have a Russian hand-painted brooch. Wow, my light is really dark. I am sorry, you guys. A Russian hand-painted brooch. And they are signed on the back. I just don't know what that says. But really good condition. Um, I will do $5. Then we have this one. This one's really pretty. This is gold tone brooch it's got the clear stones with the um like almost white in the center some of the stones are dead so they've gotten water behind them and discolorate discoloration but that's really pretty i like it it's not marked i will do six dollars on that one this is, this is really pretty. This has a little bit of wear. I don't see any markings. Let me make sure this clasp is good. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Gold tone roses. There's a little bit of wear like on the tips of everything, but it's nothing too serious. Super pretty brooch, no maker marks. We will do five on that one. And then this one is super cute. This I thought would be a JJ, but it's not marked. It's the little kitty cat with the um, fish bowl. How cute is that? And the... Um, Fish dangles. Excellent, excellent condition brooch. Probably should have cleaned my magnifying glass before I did this, huh? Um, so let's do 10 on this one. So cute, excellent condition. Let's keep going. This is another brooch lot. That one I saw was up here. Right there, okay. So these are all dark tones. This is a dark tone brooch lot is what the name of it was. So check that out. Gorgeous. AB rhinestones, clear rhinestones, kind of like a um, ribbony bow brooch. It is silver tone, but it's got like the darker in the front. Excellent condition, $6. Then we got this one that's kind of like Art Deco style, but I don't think it's actual Art Deco. Um, the cabochons are kind of like a really light blue. And this is a gunmetal. Gunmetal color brooch. Nice condition. Really nice, actually. There's a little bit of glue discoloration, but it's not too bad. I'll do five on it. Then we got this little star brooch with the Rivoli's clear, also gunmetal. Nice condition. Ooh, is this one marked? It has a cartouche. Oh, what do you say? Oh, I can't read it. It's like, is that, does that say Weiss? No. Yes, it does. No way. This does not really look like, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. Let me try. It's right Oh yeah, you guys are not gonna be able to see that. Right where my thumb is pointing. See the cartouche? 
Let me try the other magnifier. Where is it now? Right there. There's the thing. Can you see it? Does it say Weiss? It's gonna be backwards. I'm pretty sure that says Weiss, you guys. Um, I'll still do a good deal for you guys. I'll do it for 15. All right. That was that was a good find. Okay, that's what is always good about these auctions. A lot of the time, the auction house people they really don't know much about jewelry or anything really. They just get you know stuff from people to sell and they just list it and that's it. So um, this one is a little cruddy. It has some. It needs to be cleaned. See all that white in the center? And there's some discoloration up here. Uh, this is a brooch, little, no maker. I'll just do $3 on that one. Okay, so we only have a few things left. And we have this little box and it says Crements on it, which is a good brand. Nice. Okay, so it says this beautiful cremence piece was created by hand for you. With proper care, it will last a lifetime. So there's two in here. I'm wondering if both are cremence or if it's just this one piece. It's a little um, pendant. Nope, I'm sorry, it's a brooch. I'm sure it could be a pendant. I don't see any mark. Oh wait, I do see a marking. It's on the pin back. Yep, it says Cremens. And then something after it. So this is um, 14 karat gold overlay. And I guess it can be a pendant too. You can stick it, stick the charm, uh, the chain through the loop up here. Let me see, I'll show you with the magnifier. Where is it? Isn't that pretty with the roses? Gorgeous. It's tiny, but it will come with the box. And I will do, I'll do uh, $15 on it. And now this one, I don't think, what does this say? Vandell. Vandell 120th 12 karat gold fill. Put the pin in here. So this guy's definitely bigger. And it's got red rhinestones and it's got some two tone um, metal colors. Really pretty. Um, brooch, I will do 12 on this one. Okay, last but not least, you guys. Now, the listing said that this was German silver. Let me go back to it and see what it says. Yeah, it says German silver mesh clutch. So usually that means that it's not for, um, 925 sterling. But are they right is the question. Okay, yeah, it says German silver soldered mesh SMFG Co. Um, we're going to test it just for fun. Just for funsies. Okay, no. <laughs> Not. Let's do the chain just in case. Oh, the chain is coming up sterling, you guys. Check it out. See that big 
one, the big blue one, is the chain. Oh boy. Oh, I almost dropped you. Hold on. So now I'm wondering because there's a little bit of the blue coming through on the handle too. Can you guys see that? Oh my gosh. Okay. Is German silver, does it have sterling? in it but that's definitely sterling the chain okay well anyway let's keep going over it um i bid on it because it was in really nice condition um it's not like broken anywhere or ripped the inside is complete yeah there are no holes there are no holes in this baby No holes, no missing links. Um, where's my, where's my measuring tape? So it is five inches by six inches with an eight inch handle drop. All right, this is awesome. So I'm just going to, for sure, I know that the handle is sterling. I don't know about the rest. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to price it. You guys know I like, I, I always give you a good deal. So I'm going to price this at, I'll do 50 on it, five zero. It's in really nice condition. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, guys, that's everything that was everything. So what'd you think? Did you like this type of video? I will try to take you along with me more often. Um, like I said, I won all these items this past Friday. I'm recording this on a Sunday. You probably won't see it until a Tuesday. So remember, email me if you're interested in, any, in anything, another chance, resale one at gmail.com. Check the sold list in the comment section. Give me that thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.